you've probably seen the video I made the other day about the problem I was having with the um, brake light switch on the back of my Polaris Razor 570 where the um, wire kept coming off one of the tabs on the brake light switch and you've probably seen the fix where I took the plug apart crimped the connectors up put them on and then hot glued the wires onto being buzzed by the police helicopter. You're probably wondering what I'm doing sat in the middle of the forest. You can bugger off. Yeah, back to uh, crimping the wires onto the uh, terminal and then hot gluing them on so they wouldn't come off again and also to protect them from the moisture. What I'm going to show you now is if you're out and the switch fails, how? to start your Polaris without having to go underneath to find the brake light switch to find the wires to get you home so I'm going to show you the procedure and all you need is the tools you carry in with you that Polaris supplied I'll show you what I'm going to do first I'm going to take the seat out Once I've got the seat out, I'm going to move you in a little bit closer. What you're looking for now is the starter solenoid. And on the Razor 570, once you've taken the seat out, you're going to find your battery, which has got a big red terminal on it and the red wire coming off it. Now that red wire goes to your Stasa solenoid, which you'll find under this cover. And under there, when you trace the wire, is a starter solenoid. I'll show you. I'll get the camera out of the tripod. Down there, that red wire goes to a terminal down here. That terminal there is the feed from the battery. The other terminal is the feed to the starter motor. So I'm going to show you now how you start your Polaris. Well, I can get the camera back in there. And hopefully, I don't think you can see what I'm doing here. Put the tripod in the other side, or try and set it up in the footwell. I'm hoping you can see them two terminals now, where the big red wire goes onto the solenoid and the black one comes off at the top. I'll show you the trick. I'm going to get my tools out. All I'm going to use is a 15mm spanner. 
I'm going to turn the ignition on. Make sure the unit's in neutral. And what I'm going to do. Use the spanner to go across the two terminals. That'll start it every single time. Ignition on. Spanner on one terminal. And that's all you need to do. Bridge the two terminals. She going? Put your buggy back together and go home and fix the uh, bread light switch.